I may be attached the, to the idea of becoming a monk. Is it wrong to want to become a monk? Because I think that lay life is too troublesome. I can't find anything worth pursuing as a lay person. What do you think, Desmond? Um, I think is I think it's um, I guess as you say, it's possible to become attached to some idea you have of of what it will be. Um, but whether it's wrong to want to become it, I think that depends on what your reasons are. If you have the right reasons, um, you know clearly, then uh, then it, it you know it won't be wrong to to want it for or to you know understand those reasons and pursue it for those reasons. There's this big. Um discussion about running away that goes on where people say and you hear often becoming a monk is just running away that's a criticism that non-buddhists level at monks it's also um, a caution that uh, even monks will give to people thinking of ordaining that uh, if you're just running away trying to run becoming a monk to run away from your problems you're not going to get very far you know, this uh, story that I just translated, uh, suffering follows you. You're suffering, you're, the results of your bad karma follow you, like um, the wheel follows the hoof, hoof of the ox that pulls the cart. And the commentary goes on and says, even if the ox is to pull the cart for a day, or two days, five days, a month, a year, they'll never get away from the wheel and if they the more they try to go forward forward the more they'll have to pull the 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 yoke will the yoke will press down on their neck and oppress them there the, the, uh, or actually it's the circle right they have these circles that they put on the ox and that will press against their necks and neck and afflict them in that way and if they try to back up they they, they back into the wheel and and it digs into their the flesh of their legs uh, anyway, too much information. Uh, but it follows you. So the idea that you can somehow escape your suffering. But I think that in some ways and often that misses the point that people who become monks in this sense are, are, are what they're trying to run away from is not their own problems per se, not necessarily, or, or I think often not. Often what they're running away from is the acquiring the acquiring of, of further problems or getting caught up in the creation of further um, confusion and, and seeing how the more you get caught up in it the more um, the, the more suffering you create the more karma you create and the more complicated it becomes and 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 also just how useless it is you know if you see how useless the lay life is I mean what did the Buddha do he ran away really he ran away from many things but for the purpose of confronting himself, confronting his own mind, you know, it was quite clear what he was doing was not running away from from that which is important, or running away from suffering, running away from its problems. In fact, that's a good example. You know, to to, to say that someone's running, leaving the home life because they want to run away from suffering is a little bit absurd, because there's a lot of suffering. There's a good, healthy dose of suffering in becoming a monk. But it's leaving behind. I, th I think you know from the sounds of it, this person is um, is is in my mind very much ordaining for the right reasons. You know, get away from all that stuff. Run away. It's, uh, it's useless. You know, if that means you're, if that that idea means that you're somehow attached to. I wouldn't worry about such questions about does this mean I'm attached to that or does that mean I'm attached to this or so on. You're attached to many, many things unless you're already, you know, far beyond most people who, who most applicants for monastic life. You 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 got a lot of attachments, and so don't worry about are you attaching to becoming a monk. It's really trivial. You know, do you have lust? Do you have a hatred? You know, do you have addiction to things? 
do you have ego and conceit and, and, and arrogance and so on? Much more important. That's where you should be focusing. If, if becoming a monk means for you the indulgence in the attachment to becoming a monk, I would say, you know, really that's the least of your concerns. Unless you're already free from all the other ones, then you, you might say, well, you know, at this point in my spiritual practice, I really uh, have to work on my attachment <laughs> to, to the monastic life because it's such a, you know, it's like the attachment to, to, to humor or something, or the attachment to things which are attachments, but um, you know, far, far too subtle to be concerned about. Um, and so for the most part, people who ask these sorts of questions about being attached to meditation, for example, you know, I really think I have to, or do you really think it's good for this person to be meditating so much? It seems like they're attached to it. I'm like, that's the least of their concerns, really. If they've still got greed, anger, and delusion, yes, let them attach to meditation for a little while longer anyway. So, I can't speak highly enough of, of, of monastic. What I would say is that I have been very, very much attached to the monastic life. And I, I'm, I'm willing to admit that. When I became a monk, I was like, this is so cool. This is like, this is the... This is the cat's meow. It was really, you know, just the bliss of, of being able to ordain is just wonderful. I mean, of course, it was intense suffering, and it, it has been intense suffering in many ways, but, you know, just because of how difficult it, it has been. But the fact of being a monk is just so wonderful. Uh, so I can understand that. I can understand the, 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 the concern that it might be there. I just don't say that it's really the most important thing. It can grow into ego and conceit, and it does. You know, people, when when people become monks, they can be very conceited, arrogant, think they're teachers, think think they know everything. Um, that's a danger. That's something that you have to to do, to work with and deal with. But even that, I would say, is is well, no, the the arrogance and and the conceit and so on. That's far more important than the underlying attachment which is um, you know all in good time in good time eventually you'll you'll get there start digging it digging from the top down so I mean, that one one reason why people become or they ordain is to protect themselves I've got all these defilements and I know I'm not going to be a very good monk but if I don't ordain for me it was like that if I don't ordain I'm gonna get married and that's a scary thing <laughs> So, it was, uh, it was kind of a no-brainer.